Hey, you're listening to Peer Light, where we explore how you can believe in yourself and be happy with who you are by learning to trust your worth and question your doubts. A lot of people get in their own way and then hate themselves for it. I can help you stop doing that so that you experience greater confidence and inner peace. My name's Ailey, and I'm a coach and a Kundalini yoga and meditation teacher. This is episode 29, and it's about waiting for permission. And I I honestly can't believe it's episode 29. When I wrote that down in the show notes, I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. It's kind of amazing. Um, So about a month ago now, I was at this event in LA with Kyle Cease. It was called The Entrepreneurial Shift. Um, If you've never heard of Kyle before, he's awesome. He's kind of like Eckhart Tolle and Jim Carrey put together. So he's like, uh, he does a comedic version of inner transformation. And one of the things that I decided to do as a result of attending that event was to start meditating more. So I decided to start meditating for 62 minutes a day. And the 62 is a Kundalini thing because I was like, I I was going to do an hour, but then I'm like, no, I have to do 62 minutes because that's one of the times that a lot of Kundalini meditations are, even though this is not a Kundalini meditation, this is just sitting. And so that was going to be on top of my, uh, the yoga and meditation that I was already doing, which are probably about 45 to 90 minutes a day, depending on the day. But those are very structured practices. And this new meditation is totally unstructured. It's just sitting. And it's not something that I ever thought I would do, but I've been doing it every day for about a month now and uh, and loving it. And then another thing that I started doing as a result of going to that event was working on my book more, uh, more consistently, because that's been something that's been kind of like on and off for for a long time. And um, talking about the book, like I've been wanting to write a book for a very long time, and I keep getting stuck on it. So I'll move forward a bit, I'll work on it consistently for maybe a couple of months. Um, I was pretty good about it last summer, and then into the fall. And then I don't know what I don't know what happened between then and now like it's been on and it's been a bit more on and off between then. And um, so yeah, it's just like this start and stop thing that keeps happening. And that usually makes me feel like I need to just do it or commit more or, or something. And I haven't really been able to figure out what that is until now. So One of the things that Kyle talked about at the event was how we're all searching for safety and security. And this is this is a pretty normal thing. Like it's something that we all do because we want to be seen and heard and loved and valued and appreciated. And and that's totally normal. Like that's part of the human experience to want those things and to want to be seen. And through what he was saying and through, you know, some of the comments about how security and safety and that experience that we're searching for doesn't come through the external stuff. So it doesn't come through money or abundance or, or anything else. Um, and then also through this, like meditating more and working on my book more, I, I realized a few things. And before I tell you what those are, I'm just going to pause for a second. Um, so at this point in my life, I'm 39. I would like to get married and have a baby. And I want to be in a relationship, obviously, to do both of those things. And I'm very clear on my intentions for that at this point, because I know that they're coming from a healthy place. So they're more about what I desire and about my own evolution and what I value, as opposed to being from a place of seeking validation, because that's basically where those same wants were coming from when I was 25. And it's funny to think about this, because I think in a way, I've also been wanting a relationship to help me with my book. In the sense that I keep thinking that I would feel safer about being vulnerable in my writing if I had someone in my life who loved me in a romantic way and was there to kind of protect me. And so here's what I realized from working on my book and and meditating more in the last month. If I'm waiting for someone to make me feel safe to write the book, It means that I haven't been willing to provide that level of safety or security to myself, which means that I've been waiting for someone else to validate my choices. And at this point in my life, this is someone who doesn't even exist in my life, at least in that way. And the biggest irony about all of this is that the book is about this theme. So it's about self-hate and self-worth and seeking validation and all of that kind of thing. And uh, so obviously, this is going to make some great material for the book. But 
realizing this was so huge for me. And I am so grateful that everything kind of came together in a way that I could see it for what it is. And here's another crazy thing about this. So the day that I had this realization during my morning meditation, Kyle posted something on Facebook. um, And it was this really beautiful post about how we can only love ourselves or sorry, we can only love other people at the level at which we love ourselves. And one of the things that it said in that post was that most of us are not actually seeking love from others. We're seeking something else. So something like approval or control or ownership or attachment. And when I saw that post, I was like, oh my God, I've been seeking approval. And this hasn't been a conscious thing, obviously, but I think that that's what's been creating that block for me in writing my book. And anyway, I I honestly think that if I hadn't had this realization, I may have never finished writing the book. And what's happened now is that I am totally committed to finishing it because I know that this is how I need to provide that sense of security and safety for myself. So this is how I, I need to provide to myself the thing that I've been seeking from someone else. So this is so huge, and I'm so excited to see where this leads me. And I'll also say, if you feel stuck, it could be a sign that you're searching for validation. So I have a couple of questions for you um, that you can use to see where or how in your life you're doing that. So ask yourself, where in my life do I feel stuck? And what is it that I want to happen first? So before I do the thing that I want to do. So what are the conditions that need to be fulfilled in order for me to do the thing that I want to do and move forward with that? So like, what are the if or when statements? Because that's how they might show up. And then also ask yourself, what is it that I'm hoping that those new circumstances will provide for me? And then finally, how can I provide that for myself? So just to give you an example, so in my life, I've been feeling stuck on and on, on and off with the book. And what I wanted to happen first was find a relationship so that I would feel safer. And um, so that's, yeah, the circumstances that I was hoping it would provide. And so the, the only way that I can provide that for myself is to write the book. And it's interesting, too, because the level of peace that I have now when I'm writing is totally different than it was before. Like before there was this level of like, I don't don't know, maybe anxiety, I guess there was definitely like, some something that even though I know that writing the book, or even though I knew that writing the book was the right thing, there was still a level of like, stress around it. And now that really seems to have dissipated. And I think it's totally because of this realization. Um, so I'll put a couple of links to Kyle's uh, stuff in the show notes, so to his site and also to the, f- the post on Facebook so that you can read that. Um, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever you, you listen to podcasts. And if you want some help working through this for yourself, book a free discovery call with me and I will coach you and guide you through this wonderful discovery process so that you can see whatever it is you've been searching for and how you can find that for yourself. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, may you be guided by your light.